Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your bro, hope you're doing well, and in today's video I'm going to explain list views in JavaFX, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Alright, we're back at it again. Today we're talking about list views. A list view is a horizontal or vertical list of items from which a user may select or interact with. So let's go over some of the properties. You can make your list view editable by checking this checkbox. There's also a fixed cell size. If you keep this as the default, each cell is no larger than what it has to be, but you can set a size. So if I were to set this to 50, then each cell within my list view is going to have a height of 50, and I believe that's in pixels, but I'll just keep this as the default of negative one so that each cell is no larger than what it has to be. You can disable this, change the opacity, you can change the orientation. The default is vertical, so this list will go up and down. If you were to change this to horizontal, each item will move left to right when you add items. I'll keep this as vertical for now. And I think that's anything really worthwhile. Let's head to the code section and give this list view a unique ID. Let's call it my list view. What we'll do in this example is that we will populate our list view with a bunch of different food items, like it's an interactive menu. So there's no on action section, so we'll need to add a change listener to our list view, but we'll need a label. We'll change the text of the label to reflect the food item that we select. So let's add a label, place it anywhere. Let me increase the font size to whatever is decent. That's not too bad. Let me center this. Alignment, center, and let's change the text. Select a uh, food and we need to add a unique ID. Let's call this label, my label. So add your controller class, save, and then head to your controller class. Make sure that you update your FXML file within your controller class. Our controller class is going to implement the initializable interface and add any unimplemented methods. So we should have this initialize method so that we can populate our list view with data. So let's use some FXML injection to add our list view as well as our label. So private list view, we will list a generic data type of string because we're going to be working with strings, names of different food items. My list view. And we need our label at fxml private label my label. Now we'll need some data. So let's create an array of strings. String array, we will call this food. And let's populate this array with some different food items. I like pizza, I like sushi, and I like ramen, but pick whatever food that you want. Also, I'm going to create a separate string variable to hold the current food item. Let's say string current food, and we don't need to assign this anything. We will declare it, but not assign it quite yet. At this point, we're going to add our collection, our array of strings to our list view. Here's how. So we will type my list view, followed by the get items method, followed by the add or add all method. And we can add a collection. The collection that we're going to add is our array. So let's type add all and then pass in your array of food. Now our next step is that when we select one of these food items, let's change the text of our label, but we need to add a change listener to our list view. Here's how we can do that type my list view again dot get selection mode dot then selected item property followed by dot add listener and we're going to pass in an anonymous change listener new change listener list a generic type of string followed by a set of parentheses and then curly braces. And we're going to create an anonymous change listener and we need to add any unimplemented methods. So after adding any unimplemented methods, we should have a changed method within our anonymous change listener. So whenever we select one of these items from our list view, we will call this changed method. So what do we want to do exactly? Let's set our string of current food equal to my list view dot get selection model dot get selected item. 
So current food will store the name of the item that we selected. And we're going to take my label dot set text and pass in our current food item. And this should work. So select a food, pizza, sushi, ramen. In conclusion, a list view displays a horizontal or vertical list of items that a user may select. If you would like a copy of all this code, I will post this to the comment section down below. But yeah, those are list views in JavaFX.